Hey guys, welcome back to Mrs. Lounge. We have hit 100,000 subscribers on our channel. I want to thank you guys for 100K. I couldn't have done this without your support. Watching my videos every single time I post a new video, whether it's a Mercedes Benz or a Mercedes AMG. And today's video, I have a very special car. This is the 2023 Mercedes AMG GLE 63S Edition 55. I'll show you guys the exterior features, the interior, and listen to the exhaust sound. It marks the 55th anniversary of Mercedes AMG. AMG, which is why you'll see a number of features and elements which signifies it's a very special car. Under the hood of this car is a 4 litre V8 by turbo engine and it produces 603 horsepower with 627 pound feet of torque. It has a 9 speed automatic transmission. It has a very aggressive front fascia with the LED light package, multi beam LED lamps at the front, very aggressive front look with the larger intakes, a number of sensors on either side, horizontal fins, and you can see the intake coolers the front facing camera sits down here underneath the mercedes star which houses your active distance distronic systems these are the driver package systems which have radar technology to assist the driver in terms of lane changes and following distance very aggressive paramecano grill right here with the vertical slats there is a multi-beam insignia inside here two eyebrows daytime running lights on these leds and then on the hood, power domes, which adds to the aggressive nature of this GLE 63S Coupe. Let's see the side perspective, 22 inch rims, the size of the front tires, 285-40R22, 22 inch rims, gunmetal finish on these Y-shaped rims, and it has the special edition 55 badging. The front discs are perforated as well as slotted. Red brake calipers and a very aggressive look here. It has a V8 by turbo insignia on the side here with the Formatic Plus insignia as well. This is an all wheel drive car, which means in the race mode, on a drift mode, you can send up to 100% of power to the rear wheels to make this a fully rear wheel drive car fenders finishing the same color as the car and the exterior color of this GLE 63S is the obsidian black because it's an edition 55 it has these special badging on the side all these decals and there are some right here red in color lets you know that it's an edition 55 GLE rear perspective same design on the rear wheel special rims y shaped finishing gunmetal gray 22 inch and the size 325 35 r22 these are very wide tires the rear look here led lights the amg insignia on the left hand side gle 63s on the right and this car has a performance exhaust system it has four cord tailpipes rectangular finish in black chrome it sounds incredible and by the way this car has the amg night package which means it has a ton of high gloss black elements on the window surrounds the rear diffuser finish in black and the front sections also finish in high gloss black elements it has a ton of sensors on the rear section of the car a very simple rear diffuser right here let's take a look at the trunk storage a decent amount of space in the back. There is a cargo cover element right here to protect your luggage from the hot sun. And this is a view from the back. I just love the sloping roofline design and uh, AMG floor mats with the Edition 55 insignia as well. There's an aluminum piece right here to protect the section of the trunk as you put luggage in and out. I believe it's about 20 or more cu cubic feet of storage in the back. The electronic tailgate, which is a plus in my book. Actually, one more thing. It has a special gas cap with the AMG insignia. This is special for the Edition 55 GLE. Side perspective, chrome door handles 
and they look pretty stunning with the AMG Night Package accents. Let's take a look at the rear section here. Classic red on the interior with the black leather, as well as red contrast stitching. Very nice. And uh, more than enough legroom. I was sitting here in the back earlier. You can sit uh, three adults in the back section here very comfortably. Even though it has a sloping roof line design here, there is a, there's a groove up here which offers you additional headroom. So it's not going to be tight in the back section and uh, there is storage netting behind each seat as well as uh, climate control systems at the center, air vents and has circular knobs right here to control the airflow. USB-C ports, two of them. You can see how much legroom I have, about two or three inches in front of my knees. So a ton of space and uh, the view from the back passengers looking at the front. It's a very elegant car and there's a reading light up here. I'm gonna turn it off. And uh, that's pretty much it. This section of the door here has the uh, carbon fiber trim with a mate finish. Boom is a high-end speaker system to finish off that look in the back section. This jelly also has a rear spoiler right here finished in black to match the high gloss black elements all around the car right here. Very, very aggressive look from this section. The front look is arguably one of the best interiors you can find from Mercedes AMG. It offers you this AMG performance design steering wheel with the flat bottom look and the Edition 55 insignia right here. Controls on either side, touch sensitive MBUX navigation right here. On the other side, voice assistant buttons as well as MBUX navigation buttons for the center display which we'll take a look in a moment. This car has drive units right here and the drive units allow you to change the dynamic select options or the drive modes. So right now it's set to comfort mode, we'll see that in a moment. But before we jump in, power memory seating, one, two, three. This car has heated as well as ventilated seats and I love the carbon fiber trim all around. Boom, Mr. High-end speaker system. The window controls will be down here, aluminum, very good quality. And uh, additional storage down here, tailgate button will be over here. Edition 55 has these red AMG decals on the door sills. And uh, the classic red seats, very nice seats, also has AMG branding Alcantara as well as the red contrast stitching and the perforated leather on this seat with the additional Alcantara uh, contrast in between each segment of the seat. Very nice seat. You can option massage in this car, by the way. Very nice seats. Let's jump inside. And this is the front look. I'm gonna start the car. has very vibrant displays, over 12 inches on each side. High quality displays, ton of data metrics for the driver, as well as the passengers section here. This screen has the MBUX navigation system, and uh, there is a trackpad right here to control the MBUX navigation. Before we jump into that, I wanna show you guys the paddle shifters on the left hand side, right here on the right hand side. It has a good enough surface area. You're not gonna miss that. I've seen some cars with very narrow uh, puddle shifters in the upshift right here. And this is the Alcantara steering wheel with the 12 o'clock indicator at the center here. It has a flat bottom design with the Edition 55 AMG branding. I love this aluminum. And as I mentioned before, AMG drive units. This is a $400 option which allows you to change the drive modes. And as I adjust the drive modes, the car's height adjusts. So right now I've set it to sand mode, which is mostly off-road. And I can tell the car's height is adjusting. It has a sand mode, trail, slippery, individual mode, 
Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Race Mode. I typically want to leave it on Sport Plus mode. You don't want to use a race mode because you're not on a close off track. Uh, tons of the traction control off and you can do all kind of uh, fun stuff like drift modes and things like that. So I want to leave it on the Sport Plus mode which is uh, down here. On the side here everything is within reach. I love the carbon fiber trim with the mate finish everything is good quality the light fixtures are down here and uh, let me show you guys the center section the center console right here because it's a very special car the Afata back insignia on the center palm rest and additional controls down here for the exhaust on and off you can stiffen your suspension through these knob down here you can raise all over the suspension and the height of the car. There is a trackpad right here for the MBUX navigation. Home, home button is right here, volume and media. There is a shortcut right here for the navigation, radio, telephone, and the dynamic select option knob will be on the left hand side. The photo back insignia is on the center palm rest, an additional function here to adjust the exhaust, uh, the suspension, the height of the car, traction control off, and as well as the manual mode. And then uh, two cup holders, heated and cooled cup holders, and uh, NFC wireless charging. And you can see the black piano liqueur trim on the center section as well. Up here, this car has a ton of options for the uh, climate control systems. Menu button allows you to change the menu options. So this button changes the display from a climate display to the regular MBUX. So you can just have a visual display of that section. And uh, very nice material, rectangular air vents, ton of airflow nothing feels cheap inside this car and that's that section uh, of the of the car and then the heat adjustments will be right here if i start to add the temperature if i lower the temperature it changes to blue on my side i'm going to lower it all the way let me move back a little bit as i lower the temperature it changes to purple on the other side as well go all the way to 72 and on the other side as well so this car has 64 color ambient lights. Courtesy of the MBUX system, there is an LED strip on the upper deck which flows all the way to the passengers as well as on the door section here. The passenger also has memory seating one, two, three, Burmester high-end speaker system, uh, airbags at the top section right here. And I love the carbon fiber trim which flows all the way throughout the upper dash here on this car. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Set ambient light to red. Okay, I'm changing the color.
head-up display is right here. There's a groove. You can see it says zero miles per hour right here on the windshield. With the engine bay. Now here's the engine on the GLA 63S. It has the asphalt back insignia right here. Built by Farouk Sarah, Mercedes AMG Germany. 4 liter V8 by Tobo, 603 horsepower with 627 pound feet of torque. Also, this car has a 360 degree camera system. All right, guys, that's a look at the 2023 Mercedes AMG GLA 63S. Subscribe for Mercedes Lounge.